Uh, kia ora koutou, ko mōtutou raua, ko puheke ngā maunga, ko taumārere raua, ko rangaunu ngā awa, ko ngā tiki matawhaurua raua, ko mamaru ngā waka, ko ngā tihini raua, ko ngā puhi ngā iwi, ko ngā tihini raua, ko patukoroha ngā hapu, ko mōtutou raua, ko karaponia ngā marae, ko paihana taua tōku karaua, ko iha pera, tōku kui, ko Colin Cole raua, ko Mairehau o Kumatua, ko Lissi Cole tōku ingoa. Kia ora, kia ora. <laughs> uh, kia ora koutou, uh, ko Rudy Robinson nga hau. Uh, e te taha o tōku māma uh, no, no Waikato ea. Ko Taupuri tōku maunga, ko Manga Whara tōku awa, ko Ngāti Makirangi me Ngāti Kōhua ngā hapū. Uh, ko te iwi ngaro hui te rangi ora māti aha tōku tūpuna uh, Ko tūheitia pototau te peropero tōku kingi Māori Rire, rire e hau, pai mariri E te taha o tōku pāpā uh, no, no Taranaki, Taranaki ea uh, Ko Taranaki tōku maunga, ko kaupuka nui Rau ko kāpuni ngā awa, ko Ngāti tū Tōku hapu, ko Ngāru e hine, tōku iwi, ko ngā tai rākau nui, uh, tōku matua tūpuna. Kia ora koutou. Yeah. Rungo means to me is to have a well-being. Mm. Uh, and to, um, and so that, that well-being, you know, uh, is, is healthy um, and, uh, and balanced. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, rungoa, when I think of rungoa, I think a healing balm, um, a soothing for my wairua, for my, for my tīmana, for all of me. Mm. Um, I think rungoa is, addresses every aspect of who we are as Māori, not just a band-aid to fix a symptom, but something that goes much, much deeper and provides all the answers we need for our healing and the healing of our people. Aye, mm-hmm. aye. Toy is rongoa. Um, we feel it directly ourselves. Mm-hmm. We see it in the response to the work. We see it in other artists. Um, but I think for us, the expression of our creativity which is, it comes from the wellspring of our wairua, it comes from a wellspring of abundance, um, and for us that is where the magic lies, mm. is in that um, connection to our truth, our real authentic selves, mm. and being able to express that in this realm, because the toy comes from another realm. So to be able to express and bring forth that uh, expression through our, our toy um, is yeah, incredibly, incredibly healing and um, yeah, really, really, really powerful. And, and um, oh, beautiful word for my wife. <laughs> and, uh, and I also think that the, uh, we are so blessed to be able to um, to do this our mahi, our, our mahi toy, um, and uh, um, the amount of joy it brings other people. So, um, blessed to be able to do this mahi. Aye. Aye. And toy being an expression of aroha. Mm. Um, yeah, so yeah. I think our, 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 um, our mahi definitely starts off as um, an, uh, an, an idea, mm. a dream, a vision. Right. Uh, sometimes it's really clear, sometimes it's um, a little vague idea, but then as we start to bring it out of that realm, it becomes clearer. Mm. Um, well, we have, we work, Rudy and I work really collaboratively and we work really well together. We have really complementary skills. Right. So I guess I'm, um, and we are very opposite, <laughs> which works. Um, I guess I'm a big picture thinker and I'm a fly by the seat of 
your pants kind of person and Rudy's a really process orientated mm. planning and so when we come up with an idea um, I'll be like you know we can do this, this, this that, and the other and the other and the other and the other and, and then Rudy's like okay well we need to start to plan how we're gonna how we're going to achieve this right. um, but in terms I guess of um, making a piece of art um, we both settle on an idea really quickly we're really decisive um, and then basically Rudy sets out to design and carve our pieces right. and he might we might talk about the the co-popper behind a piece and um, the shapes that he's creating and then as soon as he's finished and he's happy with the carved elements then I come along and I will crochet um, a skin for our uh, taonga and um, you know while at, at, at each time that we have our hands on our pieces mm. um, we are thinking about our pieces we are thinking about the kaupapa we might sing waiata we will you know, we really go into quite a deep zone mm. um, for in each of us. Um, and once I finish carving the skin, I hand it back to Rudy, and then Rudy. And then, then I would embellish our our pieces with our our different design work, and and all this time we are constantly in coordinate all with with each other. We you know we're constantly talking about the piece and and how we want to. Um, people to also be thinking about it, mm. you know, and uh, and what we think that they would say, and you know, and how it re responds to them. I, um, the vision for our the kaupapa for our whole practice is a whare nui hari ko he poro pakaha koko uh, ko uenu ki tafa na ki terangi. Right. Um, so um, so we are creating a fully realized crochet whare nui, all based on matariki. And Fare Nui Harikoa is this refracting prism of Tipuna inspired light that shines the light across the sky like a rainbow. And um, so, yeah, and I, I just wanted to say that when so that that vision is what informs every single thing that we do, mm. um, because it's not just about Fare Nui Harikoa. We are Fare Nui Harikoa, so everything we do is about shining our beautiful, unique. Mm light that comes from our tupuna out into the world and to provide a space of healing mm. and looking forward um we definitely um you know we're connected to our past we're connected solidly and so Rudy and I are interested in what lies beyond mm -hmm. you know what lies beyond that horizon and um that's what excites us about working in our medium and in our colorways is for us we are definitely grounded in our past and in our whakapapa and we are really excited to look beyond. And um, Whare Nui Hariko for us also is healing the, like my wife was saying, healing the intergenerational trauma uh, into deeply felt joy. Um, connecting all, but, but also um, most of all igniting our joy globally. Kia ora. Aye, aye. I love, love working with uh, our tamariki. Um, you know, we, we've had our um, our pom pom workshop. You know, and it's just the magic that happens from the pom pom workshops. And you know, when the kids get it, awesome. And next minute, the adults are in there, and it's like, oh, they, you know, they used to do that when they were young. Mm. So you know, instantly, it's that connection back into their past, and they're bringing that forward. So. Um, yeah, definitely working with others is really important for us. Um, you know, we have a really big global vision, and so we, 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 you know, we're all interconnected, and we're all connected, and that is the the magic and sim the the magic of crochet and the symbolism of crochet is connecting loops, and I think we have connected so deeply to crochet because it expresses those much deeper uh, concepts for us as Maori. And as a way for us to, you know, form relationships with people overseas, form relationships with people here, with our people. And for us, especially with Farinui Harikoa, we want as many hands on our Farinui as possible. You know, all of that energy, all of that aroha that gets embedded into every single loop. Um, this is a Farinui for, for 
for everybody um, and a way for us to come together in a space of real celebration mm. and joy and I think more than any more than ever before that's what we need um, as people as country as a world so uh, yeah it's powerful uh, for, for us is that you know we want to show um, especially our, our children and our mokupuna that that, that our being an artist you can do that you know you don't, you don't have to go and have that nine to five job you don't have to you know what I mean like you can actually do that but we want to show them that it can be done um, and I'd say absolutely go for it if you yeah. wake up in the morning and you want to create I say create I say believe in yourself 100 million percent if you know that in your heart and we all know in our heart what, who we are and we know what to do and it's just really about stepping out in the courage and faith that we are supported 100 mm. percent to be our true authentic selves and we're supported by about six million billion uh, tupuna um, you know, we're, we're supported from behind, we're supported in the now, and we're supported from the future. So um, we encourage you, oh. create whatever that looks like, and it doesn't matter what anyone says about it, you create and create. And if that makes your heart happy and sing like it does for us, then there is no greater thing in life. So uh, we encourage you, kia ora, go for it. Kia <laughs> <Yeah. laughs>